Hello, my name is Sheree Kelsey and welcome to Cooking for the Kelseys. My husband, Michael Kelsey, and I have five children ranging from the ages of 14 down to two years old, four sons and one daughter. You will find family friendly meals here. A quick tip for you. This changed my life. I hope that it changes yours if you start cooking your meat ahead of time. Like I was like, you know what? I don't like meal prep. Meal prep scares me. But if you have some of if you have your meat cooked and then the sides that I have here will not take you longer than 10 minutes, it changes the whole atmosphere. When the only thing you have to do is heat up your meat and then cook your sides, you won't be standing on the stove all day when you come home from work or a busy day or whatever you have going on. So we have four meals here that are that are family friendly and simple um, we're not a perfect family on this channel but we do serve a perfect God subscribe to see videos like this and let's get into these meals first off is the baked chicken Look, we're now to a whole chicken status. Like a whole chicken used to feed us more than one day, but not anymore. But anyhow, I just start off, of course, cleaning the chicken, cutting it, getting whatever you don't want on the chicken off. I split the whole chicken in half, and then I just start to season. I really like to season the chicken very well. Um, I use garlic powder, onion powder, lemon powder, seasoned salt, oregano and Italian seasoning when I um, season my chicken I season both sides and like I said I make sure all of it is just covered in seasoning seasoning and when you do so it has so much flavor you you won't be disappointed with this chicken And here are the results. I'm telling you, your taste buds will not be disappointed. This chicken is so good and my children love it, even the two year old, and it's gone in a day. Very, very good. So with this baked chicken, I just use some, you know, instant rice, cheddar broccoli style, followed the um, instructions on the back and it was quick and easy. And you know, my kids love this. My husband and I, we like it, it's simple follow the instructions and you'll have a simple sides and I also just use some a great value already frozen um, vegetables and put them in the microwave and then those get ready in five minutes and then you have your whole meal the only thing you really have to do is just prep the chicken put the chicken in there I bake it at 350 degrees for at least three hours because I want to bake very well and be very very uh, juicy when it comes out for three hours our second meal that we had was I call them baby um, meatloaves just as because I cook the meatloaves individually but you'll see that later on in the video but we have macaroni and cheese and green beans and this also was a simple meal you do have to prep the meat but my sides are always quick and easy so here I am with a whole bunch of ground beef because like I said we have four sons and we have a daughter and my husband and me so we have we have to have a lot of meat but anyhow and then I crumbled up some crackers just saltine crackers I crumble those up with the meat I put two eggs inside of here and then my staple season seasonings are always lemon pepper garlic pepper onion pepper oregano Italian seasoning seasoning salt and I place that inside of the meatloaf I did squeeze like a couple of skirts of ketchup in it as well I mix it all together very very well and then I start forming um, fist size meatloaves and I like to do that because for me it's easy uh, it seems like the meatloaf gets done quicker and then like that my meatloaf doesn't break apart I don't like when my meatloaf breaks apart when I cook it so I did it like that everybody had their own little meatloaf they were happy that they had their own So this is what the meatloafs look like uh, after I form them. I just put my fist in there, grab the meat, form, form them into little ovals. I wrap them up with aluminum foil. I put them in the oven 
350 degrees and I did let these cook for two hours like I said I my meat I always let my meat cook slow but my sides are always quick and easy so we had box macaroni and cheese I just followed the instructions on the box and we also had some green beans that they were frozen and I put them in the microwave for five minutes and that's our meal so my kids love chicken fried rice and I was like you know what I'm gonna try to make it and like I said early in the video I did fail a couple times but the way to be successful when you make chicken fried rice your rice has to be cold do not try to make this meal and your rice is hot I do a lot of prepping so you know like I said early in the video you can go ahead and cook your meats one day and then they're already ready and just cook the sides on the day that you're going to eat that particular meat and then also you can boil your rice so a lot of stuff I kind of already have somewhat cooked and then I'm just cooking the sides on the day but anyhow I right here I'm just cutting up two chicken breasts prepping it for me to be able to pan fry on the eye for our chicken fried rice. Okay, so I used some sesame seed oil. I just put a little bit to coat the bottom of the pan. After I did that, I put the chicken in there and I only seasoned this chicken with regular sea salt and pepper. That's it because I didn't want to put those other seasonings in there and then mess up this whole flavor. Okay, I put my rice in the pot and did the same thing. I heated up a little bit of sesame oil and I just stirred my rice around until it started to get warm and after that I scrambled some eggs and at the end I just mixed everything back to back in together. Now you might can do it all together at the same time but I did not. I did each step um, one by one and that's what had me come up with the best results and then the children loved it and myself and my husband did as well This orange sauce by Panda Express is what took this meal to a whole nother level. This was the secret sauce for this meal. I used some of that and then it was like, oh, I finally mastered it because I've been trying for a while to make some chicken fried rice. Like I said, other people might do it differently, but this is how I did it. My family loved it. It actually tastes like chicken fried rice and I was happy with the results. So this is our last meal here. This is chili and cornbread. This is my favorite meal because it was the easiest meal because the only thing I did was just dump some cans of food inside of the pot. So I used pinto beans. I used uh, black eyed peas. I used chickpeas. I used some corn and I used a can of diced tomatoes and a packet of chili sauce and I put that in, in this big pot here. I stirred it around. I let it cook on the stove. If you know, going and stirring it occasionally for 30 minutes. As that was cooking on the stove, I went on to make my cornbread. Dinner was ready in 30 minutes and everybody enjoyed it. And hey, it was easy.
Now you can add ground beef to your chili. I did add some ground beef, but I already had some ground beef already cooked. Cause like I keep on saying, I go ahead and make up my cook up my meals well my meat ahead of time and then I just cook it and I just add it with different meals but um, some of us wanted meat and some of us didn't so that's why I'm just transferring some into another bowl also I've made some jippy jiffy cornbread and all the thing I did was just follow the instructions in the back and on the back of the box put it in the oven and cooked it thank you guys so much for watching the videos I hope that these videos are a blessing to you and give you ideas on how to feed your family I know I always like to look for different ideas and different ways that people make the meals you know but many blessings to y'all like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video y'all